and I'm Yolita Brillian from Brillian Massage Therapy and today I felt inspired to make a video of how to make your massage therapy session results last longer. It's like with anything, with chiropractic adjustments, with PT sessions, similar goes to massage therapy, not similar, actually almost the same. Um, it's easy to come and get a fix but if you go back and do things that cause you to have pain and tension in the first place you're gonna have pain again some things we just can't avoid some things we're born with like scoliosis or kyphosis or different spine curvatures that make some muscle imba muscles imbalance and then in turn it turns pain but you know, there's, some, there's nothing we really change about those things or if you have one leg that's longer than the other one um, that's causing you to overcompensate and you know your hips and glutes muscles are become tight. So that's something you need a uh, recurrent manual release to get those muscles but to release. But let's say if you there's something you're acquiring just because you are not paying attention of your body mechanics like you have bad posture at your desk, you're not using standing desks, you sit all the time, you're making your psoas muscles weak, shortened, um, or you are making your pectoral muscles shorten and you're making your neck muscles work much harder than they have to because your computer screen is not at the eye level or because you um, just, love being hunched over so your neck pain will return much quicker after your massage session if you rearrange your desk and maybe got a better chair better setup with your screen up um, or even like being mindful of doing things like uh, lower back pain can be caused because let's say you work you stand at work which is good but you're turned like that all the time what happens now your hips are facing this way and your chest is facing that way for prolonged periods of time or it could be vice versa this way and that misalignment is causing your m muscles out here it could be QL muscle it could be obliques it could be um, serratus you know Ill all the paraspinal muscles it can start really affecting your lower lumbar area lower back where you might even think maybe I have a pinched nerve or there are disc problems but it's not it's usually just the muscles are really tight and it can feel pinchy it can feel um, not good but so you know, if you stretch like this and you have pain on one side or the other one, limited range of motion, that's what happened. You probably over um, fatigued these muscles because you're turned, you know, even though you're standing, you're go doing good things. So what you want to do, you want to stand this way or this way, wherever you're working. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, things that or not wearing like high heel shoes, you know, if you tend to get uh, hip back problems. So just a couple tips like that, that we don't always think, you know, well, it's, we just want to fix the, the pain we have now, but like what caused it in the first place and how can we prevent for it not recurring sooner? So, so going to PT is, is a good idea, you know, cause they can help to give you exercises that with the areas you need to strengthen in your body and then massages the manual uh, work that can break up the that old pattern of scar tissues and um, uh, help with the um, overuse problems and or injuries and things like that so i hope this video was helpful uh, we are located in burlington uh, vermont so you can come see us at Brilliant Massage Therapy for a massage. We do have a variety of styles. You can check out the website, yolitabrilliant.com. And 
and uh, share this video if you think it's helpful and I will see you some other time. Thank you.